So my, when I was two weeks old, my parents got a call saying that I was, uh, had cystic fibrosis and we just been having a lot of surgeries in my life and it's, it's been stressful not being able to do as much as everybody else can. It's all I've really ever known. He was born September 10th, um, and he went home right away. I mean, everything looked good, um, and then we got the call. They did the newborn screening test, and they found out that he, has dis he had cystic fibrosis, which we had no clue what was. We had none. When we talked with those doctors, it was, it was hard. He had a lot of issues with bowel obstructions, um, so he was in the hospital all the time, in and out all the time. And then at 13 months, they had to do surgery. Um, um, there was a stricture in his intestine, so they had to take part of his intestine out and appendix. Um, so that was his first surgery, and um, from there it was We'd have breaks where he wouldn't be in the hospital, but a lot of his life was spent in the hospital. Cystic fibrosis deals a lot with the, the lungs and the digestive. Not all the kids are the same. Some will have more lung issues, some will have digestive. Gavin, it's more the digestive, um, but it is manageable. You just need to stay calm, do your thing. To us right now, it's second nature. You know, we've doing, been doing it since he was two weeks old. We don't know any different. You know, so it's, as long as you don't get worked up, you know, it's manageable. Well, I'm grateful that, you know, the, the cystic fibrosis team knows Gavin, helped him out in every way. I mean, his personality is unbeatable. You know, it's, if uh, the, the team went be able to work on him or you can get him to where you know he's okay you know, what kind of kid would he be it was nice just to be able to say call the clinic and say this is what's going on with gavin okay we'll see you in 20 minutes you know and five ten minutes later i'm in there and they're looking at gavin it was so much easier to get the care he needed he's got a great team he's got a great team yes over the hospital visits, I probably have over 15 stuffed animals. So like when I was getting prepped for uh, surgery, they would let me keep one, you know, just to stay calm and not be so stressed about it. Because sometimes I'll be thinking, all right, what if I don't make it through? What if this happens? What if that happens? So they just let me hold those and keep them. So it would just keep me calm. So after I got this acostomy put in, we, we in February, they uh, had released a new drug called Trikafta, and they uh, thought they would be a trial for me, and everything has just gone up. This is like from six to seven, I could barely get from 60 to 70 pounds. And then in February of 2020, when I got the Trikafta, I went from 80 to 100 in like six months. And I just, I feel great, and it's, I just feel like a whole new kid. I'm just proud of him, I mean, for what he's gone through and how he's dealt with stuff. I mean, and I'll say it again, he's went through more than most of us adults have and for him to be so outgoing, happy-go-lucky and just living life in the moment. I, some people wouldn't, you know, and it's just like I, He's a kid, and this is how he is. And I mean, yeah, he doesn't know any different, but it's still inspiring that he can be so sick yet have a smile on his face.